Are you looking to create a risk register for a particular project or programme? Are you not sure what columns you need to include, where to start with your template or some of the information that you need to capture? Well, if that's the case, then you've come to the right place because today we're going to be exploring whether you can use ChatGPT to do so quickly for you. Before I begin, if you're not familiar with ChatGPT already, then I want to quickly just walk you through what it is. And instead of me explaining it, why not let us ask the tool? So what is ChatGPT? So here, as you can see, it's a interface that you sit essentially typing questions or ask um, a particular use case. And what it will do is it will return a response based on its data set. Or in other words, this is how ChatGPT describes itself. It's a large language model and it's created by OpenAI, which is, which is owned by Microsoft. And using algorithms, it basically creates um, a means of communicating back with you. So it can answer questions, provide information, offer suggestions and have conversations on a wide range of topics. So that's given me the impetus to try and create uh, a risk register in the tool and I'm going to be giving you some so what you need to do essentially if you want to to build something out of it or, or get some data or information or answer questions as it's suggested um, you need to give um, different prompts now the it must it must be stated that the the quality of the output is predominantly dependent on the prompt you put in so this may require a little bit of testing and do consider that this is a new tool. It's not currently been um, widely pushed out um, in respect to its full functionality. So it's quite limited in what it can do at the precise moment. Uh, as you can see at the bottom, it's a free research preview. So this will get better. And because it's so new, it's, its um, capacity is quite limited. So you may not be able to access this at the time uh, that you want to. Just bear that in mind. At times of high usage, you might not be able to, 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 to get into the tool. I will drop a link in the description below it to access this. You may, you may already have, have an account and can use it right away. You may need to wait to register an account as well. So just bear that in mind. But as I say, this video is more about exploring the possibilities and how you can use it. So what we're going to ask it to do is create a risk register for a marketing project in tabular form. So very, very specific, as you can see. Now, of course, there's different elements to this. Um, we could put risk log here. We could change, obviously, I'm using marketing project as an example. You may have a different type of project that you need a risk register for, and we want it in tabular form so that we can, what I'm going to show you is how we can put this into Excel very, very quickly. Um, and once we've got it in Excel, you could then import it into other project management systems should you need to. So what we essentially do is write this in and then you hit this little icon here or you hit enter and you essentially wait for it to populate. So sure, here's an example of a risk register for a marketing project in tabular form. And we essentially need to wait for it to generate. But as you can see, it's not only created all the fundamental columns that we're going to need, but it's also put an example risks in here. So we just wait for it to, to generate. Keep, it will keep going. I'm not sure how, it, how many it's going to give us, but here we go. So it's given six different potential risks as well. Now, it also gives an overview that this is an example and it includes a unique ID for each risk, a description of the risk, a category to which the risk belongs to, an assessment of the probability and impact of the risk, a severity rating, a proposed response to the risk and an owner responsible for monitoring and addressing the risk. The risk register can be updated and maintained throughout the project to ensure that potential risks are being actively mon monitored and mitigated. Fantastic. So here we go. Obviously that was done within a minute. Of course, my video has gone on for longer than this. I've been talking a lot uh, before we got here, but you know, if you knew how to do this, you could get this built very, very quickly. And then all you need to do is literally with a, with a mouse, left click and drag. We can go to the bottom, 
I used shift there on my keyboard to get to, the, to, to make sure I highlighted all of it. A control C, I've already opened a, an Excel and I've hit paste. And as you can see, all it needs is a little bit of formatting changes. So I don't particularly like that, 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 that font. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. We're gonna put it in, no, I don't like that either. Let's go to the top. Let's put it in a classic. Let's put it in Cal Calibri. We'll change this to a bold. We'll change this to 12. I'm gonna select this, double click. We're gonna put this in like a, a kind of nice, we'll put this in a nice kind of gray. Let's make, make these a bit bigger actually. Uh, and then what we could do is double click here and here you go. You've, I mean, you've got a very, very simple risk register. You could save it. Obviously you can remove all of these and just go from, from there. Um, so when I say go from these, I could just literally, um, you know, get rid of those, wipe them out. Um, but you, I mean, even you've even got some kind of t table in here. If you, oh, what have I done there? And you've got some some kind of formatting as well, which is fantastic, and it just looks great. So you could use this, you could save it, send it up. Of course, owner there, if you looked at it, uh, it had a, a particular, um, I'm gonna go back actually, we'll just go back. It had a particular owner in terms of a role, but you could put an individual's name in here. And of course, you can change these. You could have, um, um, for probability, that could be a scale from one to five. Impact could be um, a scale from one to five. And then your severity could be, you know, so in, let's just do this as an example. We could then build this out. So equals uh, the probability times by the impact. And that gives you three. And then obviously you could sort by the severity to make sure you look at the most important risks. You get the idea. But what we're doing here is we're using chat GPT to say, save us time uh, and to build this out. Now, what you can also do is you can then go back into chat GPT and you could say, provide more risks. And what it, will, what it will do is it will, based on the original query or, or prompt, I should say, uh, it's gonna, you know, it's going to basically do what it's what, what you ask and, and work off the original data set. So look, here we go. Sure, here are some additional risks that could be included in the risk register for a marketing project. And then what it's going to do is going to build the table again um, to make sure we've got the right format. And once we get there, <laughs> let's get that out of the way. That's a bit annoying, isn't it? All right. And it's continued from number seven. So number six we got here and it's going to go to number seven and we're going to get more example risks. So if you're not familiar of what kind of risks you need for a marketing project, these are examples. Now this is going to go on and it's probably going to generate up to 14. Um, but obviously for the purpose of time, I'm literally going to stop it because, you know, we, we I want to show you one more quick thing and this video has been going on for some time. What you can also do is, I'll go new chat. So we had, oh, oh that's, the, that's the whole thing. We did it for a risk register for a, um, for, for a marketing project, but you could change your response as well. So create a risk register in tabular form that includes the columns, and then you could put in a few. So you could put risk ID, um, owner, I'm just thinking of examples, impact, scale one to five, probability one, one to five. You get the idea. You could put all of the columns you wanted in here, um, and then you can just hit go. And then what's gonna happen, I've obviously not finished that, but again, it's gonna run them on the prompt and he, he can say, look, it's literally building out based on the specification. So what I just wanted to show you on this final one is that the more particular and specific you are on your prompt, the, um, you know, the, 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 the better this will work. So what I would suggest you do is if you wanna build a risk register, either you, know, you can go online and get some templates or just explore the chat GPT tool. You could use this for other project management um, tasks that you have, but it's worth exploring. Um, so I'll drop the link in the description below. If you've already got an account, maybe give it a go. Otherwise sign up uh, and, and over to you. So I hope this video was useful. If it was, please hit the like button. That tells me I should continue creating videos like this. And if you haven't already, ready, please hit the subscribe button and do consider checking out my channel. I've got lots of videos on project management um, tools, creating templates like this, not in, not just in ChatGPT, 
but in Excel, uh, PowerPoint, or any other application that you use, maybe even it's a project management system, that's Smartsheet, Asana, etc. So with that said, I hope you have an excellent day.